<laughs> it's like crazy. Don't stand over there. there. I can open up the, I'll open up the rear vine out here. What kind of gas does it burn? Believe it or not, regular. It just burns right. The thing with the Le Mans race cars, this is a Le Mans race car, is all Le Mans race cars had to be street legal. Meaning they had to have a passenger seat, they had to have a space for luggage, they had to have high beams, low beams, blinkers, rear view mirrors, everything that the street cars had to have in 1966, these have to have. The only difference is they were built to go very, 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 very fast. This is called a GT40 because uh, Carroll Shelby at the time, when he was de de developing this car, he goes, we need to come up with a name for this thing. And they came up with all kinds of crazy names for it. And then Carroll Shelby says, well, how tall is this car? I mean, it's really small. And one of the guys took his tape measure and from the ground measured it to the top of the roof here. And said, Carol, it's 40 inches. He goes, then we'll call it the GT40. And uh, the rest is history. This has a, a Roush 402 engine in it. Built by Roush Racing. Bob, the, their main uh, engine builder at Roush Racing, which uh, builds all the NASCAR motors. He built this motor. And uh, it's a monocoque chassis. The way you can tell a real GT40 from a fake GT40, it has a steel roof. This has a steel roof, so it's a real GT40. So there it is. I had Weber's on the on the original style 66 Weber's carburetors on this thing, but because it is a race car, it wasn't very street friendly when I drove the thing. It wanted to go fast and it didn't like to go slow at all, so I took off the Weber's. I still have them. But I want a fuel injection, so you can take a computer and dial it to whatever you want to. So I can drive it like a grandpa or go like a bat out of hell. It's got the Gurney Westlake heads on it. It's got the bundle. It's called the Bundle of Snake Exhaust. Because it looks like a bunch of snakes all gathered together. And uh, ZF Transmission. Avon Racing Tires. And... This is the way they built them in 1966. This car won four years in a row at Le Mans. And uh, this car, the sister car to this one, which is exactly like this one, uh, won two years in a row. It's one of three cars ever to win two years in a row. And uh, this is the model that did it. So, anyway, 